Welcome back to our live show. There are so many innovative kitchen gadgets out there that really can help save you time on meal prep for the family. The one featured in this previously aired clip is really a game changer. Take a look. So in theory, it's nice to be able to come home from work and enjoy a delicious homemade recipe without spending hours in the kitchen, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Our dear <laughs> yeah. friend of the show, Shane Rogers, is here with us, and she's going to show how show us how easy it is to use a something called an Instapot, which I don't know what that is. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you. To You'll find out in an instant, right? right? Okay. So an Instant Pot is a. Oh, sorry. Do you Can need I to, just say? Uh huh. So these are mega popular gifts, yes. right? Someone may have received one the holiday before this last I, one. Exactly. It's still in the box because I'm too scared to I use it because of the pressure. I didn't even know that you pressure. had that when I made that little quip. I yes. was, it wasn't a... But I'm afraid but of pressure. after today... Okay. But don't be, don't okay. be. So they make it simple. And the cool thing is you can do what I'm doing right now. You can saute in the bottom of it. See, I've browned some meat already and, mm -hmm. I've, and I didn't crowd the pot. So I'm doing my second batch. It's got a saute function. So I don't know if you guys can get in there. I think I but can you, you were up. telling me this is kind of like you a can pressure make, cooker. Um, you can make um, some good brownness in the Ooh, bottom uh -huh. of that pot. It's called uh -huh. a bond. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then when the pressure cooks, you'll open this up and it'll all be cleaned up. That means that flavor is all in your barbacoa. Cool. So you get the good start here. And I've got this on a good, like I didn't crowd it. I just put a few pieces at a time. Got good browning on it. And then I'm going to stop the saute function. I'm going to hit cancel. There's 3,017 buttons there on the are, front of there, that thing. There that's is. a little nerve wracking. So that's okay. That's all right. So we're going to let this go and I'm going to pop this back in here. You're going to start the sauce, okay. which is super simple. It's an onion, half an onion chopped up, mm -hmm. some oregano, two tablespoons of oregano, mm -hmm. three or four cloves of garlic, whatever you like. Cloves. Be scant. Don't put all that in there. Oh, Like scant. just maybe half. Just a little bit because it's super strong. Mm -hmm. Um, that's chipotle and adobo. That's going to make it super spicy. Use what you you might want to start out with half and add, but you can go ahead. You can put that all in there because we can handle it. Anyway, um, and you want the sauce and the pepper. So that's a smoked uh, jalapeno in sauce. Okay. Oh and my you want, gosh. So that's good. That's Are good. you sure that's going to be okay? Well, you're going to have to eat it. I don't. And then scant <laughs> or whole. All of it. That's cumin. Okay. Delicious. Fresh lime juice. Mm -hmm. Is that and the only liquid you put in? A half in there? a cup of water. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Pop the top on. Presto. Pop the top. Okay. Pop the Make top. Make sure it goes, it fits around. It's got a nice, there you go. It's got a good seal. Yeah, we don't Ready? want that flying all over. It doesn't take long. You just want it to get smooth. And then, I think that's good. Feeling good. Yeah, I'm feeling good about that. Okay. I've got a couple of bay leaves from my front yard. Mm -hmm. Pop those in there and not forget them. I had to open Instant Pot last night. In your when I was front prepping. yard? Yeah, I have a bay tree in my front oh, yard. Oh, good gosh. That's how she rolls. <laughs> right? That's how she rolls. Okay. Right. Up and at them, dump Just it in. Pour it right in. You don't even have to stir it, but I'm going to because, okay. you know, I'm a little. That so good. I'm a little OC. Ooh, Whoa, hey <laughs> That All wasn't the even place. the pressure of everything. Okay, so here's what here's where we get it gets interesting. I'm okay. starting to feel a marriage proposal so, coming on again. So, so honestly, getting the top in the right place <laughs> um, is I the just, hardest part of this. I keep so then asking. Gonna, she I know, keeps I know, that. I know. <laughs> um, and then so you turn it until it it's seated, and then on the front of this, there's actually a meat stew. Um, Button. Buttons. It's button 360. It's, it's the second one from the top, <laughs> and it's going to give you 35 minutes. Or yours may be a little bit different. You're going to use the plus We don't know. It's still in the box. Right? Exactly. <laughs> Get it out of the box. This is going to be so good. The pressure. I like pressure. this to pressure be 55 cooker. minutes. And I like for it to be on high pressure, which that is. And if it wasn't, there's just a little button over here. You could push the pressure. Okay. The other important thing is well, this val valve right here. Uh-huh. And that is, you want that to sealing. Mm -hmm. I've messed up a couple of recipes because I didn't make sure it was sealing. Okay. So that's going to let the pressure build and Does it'll come it up Does it pop out by itself? Nope. So that we're going to get to that in just a second. Okay. This one's okay. done. Okay. Anyway, so we're going to set this aside. So at this point, you're done. It's going to go for 50, it's going to come up to pressure. It's going to go for 55 minutes. It's going to beep at you. Like um, most things in my kitchen right. do. Okay, so I want to know that it's sealing, sealing but how do I venting. get it there? Is that before I seeded it? it? Nope, you do. It just moves right. Oh. You can toggle. So that's the other thing to be careful of is you can toggle it and think you like if you if you set it before yeah. you put the cover on. Once the pressure builds up, it. It will, yeah. So just make sure when you finish and you set the time that it's at sealing. 
So Seal. it's fine. Ooh. So it's sealing. It's good to go. And okay. it is really set and forget. You don't have to touch it. Seal and so the this one over here. Can move this one over. You can. So this one is done. And actually the time on this one is showed how long it's um, it's counting up now because I've let it release naturally. Okay. So I don't, you just don't touch it by letting it release naturally. I'm going to release the rest of the pressure Stand now. Back, Bill. I don't think it's going to be that bad because it's had a few minutes. If you did it immediately, uh -huh. it's going to be like Mount Vesuvius. If you let it sit for 15 or 20 minutes, it actually makes the meat more tender and it makes the pressure less. So, see, kind of, Whoa. you know, I, it's not so bad. Right. And use a towel, use something to protect your hand. It should be fine, but it's way easier to use a towel than to treat a burn. <laughs> Sounds like me at the end of the day right? after I sit down to watch a walking dog. So, right, so it smells even better. Yeah. And so then when this starts to release, then we're gonna. I can't get it. It may not be ready yet. Right, I may need to make it. Oh, oh my heavens. Right? Gosh, it smells good. Ooh. There, oh, we go. there we go. I like how it does do the jingles. That's fine. Right? So it's calming my nerves. There we go. It's okay. beautiful. It's delicious. Now what you can do is pull this out and shred it. What have I been doing with myself for the last? I'm telling you, and you can make, I made roast beef this weekend to die for. And I'm doing the keto, as you all may have heard before. Yeah. This works for a family that has people on keto and uh -huh. people that are eating regular. Okay. Um, and Look see at how, how tender, see how tender that, that is. is. So use a couple of forks or even your hands to shred it up. I like to. Mm -hmm. I use my hands when it cools. I, won't, I wouldn't do that right now because mm -hmm. I just released it. You can put this on a salad. You can put this in burritos. Mm -hmm. You can put this you can in. You can put this in Bill Bevins' belly. Like, it's hot. So it's my just, baby. I know, I know. It so just came out of the pressure heard. cooker, Bill. Anyway. Um, Gosh, that is so tender. It's so tender you can't even get on the fork. Yeah. So you're just pushing just, buttons yes, and you're on And waiting. Ceiling. And so it's not, it does take an hour and a few minutes to thing. But if you could have this without any work, you saw what I did. Yeah. It's delicious. I did roast beef. Mm -hmm. You can do chicken thighs in here that are delicious. Oh, should I share your fork? You had a, I, got, I had a, thought I had another you one. Had a little you had a little sniffle. Let me get. Shane. Yes. I know you've turned me down in the past. <laughs> but on TV. But for a short time, I could make <laughs> you very happy. Right. And you'd make me just. Right. I'd make you fat. So. <laughs> But happy, right. very happy. So consider the 28th proposal. Okay, oh, no. I will. Mm -hmm. I'll give it some thought. Yeah. She's gonna wait for 29 or 317 right. to match the number of buttons on this thing. <laughs> Shane shared the recipe with us and we will post it on our website by early this afternoon, WTBR.com. Use your oh, Instant Pot, use gonna it. We're gonna continue the quality control. So, so now, that was recorded a while back. Yeah, that's so right. Has enough time passed? Because I had a cousin that posted